Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and Road Maintenance Simulator. I'm Tintin57 and I've come along to the office again to see what new jobs we've got. And I believe there's one here that we've not done yet, which is to align the signs on the road network. And the boss says, don't ask me how it happened, but a number of traffic signs along the entire road network are crooked. Drive along the roads and straighten any crooked signs you see. When you're done, come back to the service yard. Who knows what else needs to be done? So, we'll take that one. And we get to take any vehicle. And you know what I'll do first? I will open the gate. And we're going to have to stop again. Get that done. So it's given us a choice, you can see, of multiple, vi multiple vehicles here on the map. Um, let me just have a look at what, what is in these. I think we know what's in this one. We've used this one quite a bit. That's the actual, that's the truck without the safety warning system. This is the one with, I think. Let's see what else we've got. That is the uh, tree lopper, I think. Oh no, it's the power washer. That's the power washer. And we used that in an earlier video, didn't we, in the playlist. And that is the uh, tree cutting vehicle. So, you know what, we'll just use the standard truck that doesn't have the safety system. And we've got ten traffic signs to find that are crooked. And you can see on the minimap. They're kind of scattered everywhere, so it looks as if we're going to get quite a good drive today to find these. Oops. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? <clears throat> I, took my, I took my eye off of it for just a second, and we're very close there to that, uh, that fence. Um, but let's go left and look for the first one. It's guiding us actually to this one. It must just guide you to the nearest. I can actually see it. The strange thing is though, they're, on, they're always on the opposite side of the road. Um, I'm presuming I can just park here. And I can just jump out and go and do this. Yeah, so there's the first one. Just let everybody pass. So the next one requires us to um, actually go back the same way. So let's do that. A quick three point turn. Never harmed anybody. Let me get myself lined up in this outside. That's better. That's better. So that's one out of ten that we've done. Let's find the next one, which is just up here. Hopefully we're on the right side. No, it's on the opposite side of the road again. So I'm going to park here. And I'm going to jump out. I think there's somebody behind us. Yep, there is. He's waiting for us, though. So that's good. The last couple of outings I've had, actually, um, there's been a lot of trouble at this junction. Um, yesterday, um, I didn't record it, uh, but I was here yesterday and um, there was a, a big accident just here where I am now. So much so that um, I couldn't get past so I had to go where that blue car has just gone to get all the way around to a mission that was actually just taking place just further up on that bend. I just couldn't get past. There was space, but there was invisible walls, which was a little bit annoying. Um, we need to do a U-turn again. Um, so I went all the way around, and then I needed to come back to the depot, and I was literally here, and I needed to go back to the depot. Uh, I couldn't get past again. And I couldn't go on the grass. The invisible wall was stopping me going on the grass. 
So again, I had to go all the way around the map to get back. Uh, it was a bit frustrating, actually. And since we were last on the channel with this, uh, there was another patch. There was another patch today. Patch 2 was today. But I can't find any indication of what was in the patch, so maybe it's something to do with that. Because it seems like very quick fixes. It was only, only about 200 megabytes. It wasn't... You know, that's, that's on PS5. It wasn't massive. Um, so, you know, I'm hoping it's just little quality of life improvements like that. Because I did have to really go out of my way to complete that. And the mission I was doing was actually relatively short. Uh, I didn't put it on the channel because it's a, it's a repeat of a mission we'd already done. But it took me way, way longer than I expected. So I need to go left at the aforementioned junction to find our fifth sign which is just up here uh, the other thing was um, I, I knew to take this vehicle tonight because we got this, this much driving to do uh, last night when I was doing that mission where I got stuck I actually took the uh, lorry that we used when we did the tarmacking. Actually, the tarmacking was in this section, wasn't it? It was just here where we did the tarmacking. Uh, and I took that, uh, the lorry that we delivered uh, the tarmac with, and it was really, really slow, really sluggish to get going, whereas this one is quite nippy. So this one is a good one to use for this mission. If you do get this mission when you're playing, Go for this one, or the equivalent with the safety device on it. Or the warning system, not the safety device. Uh, and you should be good. I think these are the, these two are the fastest in the game at this point. So thanks for all the interest, by the way, in this on the channel. I know many of you are already playing this now, which is good. Still working my way through the trophy list. Um, I think as I mentioned on the last one, the good thing is on the PS5 is that you can see um, what percentage you are through certain trophies as well, which is which is good to see. Because a lot of the trophies are, you know, run run a hundred missions. Well, with the way they've set the trophies up, they've used the PS5 tracking system. You can actually see how far through those hundred missions you are, which is really good. Then we're not losing the will to live. Doing mission after mission after mission, trying to get the trophy. We can see exactly where we're up to. So that's nice to see on on a, a game that's so small they've actually put the effort into uh, to implement that trophy system so I was pleased about that you remember the trophies didn't appear straight away we, we were getting awarded the trophies but we couldn't sync them to the network so we didn't really know where we were or what the trophies were but it's nice to know that that's, that's all fixed So there's a bit of a drive to this next one. We've done six. We've got another four left. So let me get back onto the main carriageway. So it's there on the opposite side of the road. So we're going to have to come off and come across the top and back down the other side. But yeah, in the tarmac uh, lorry, I wasn't even doing half the speed. It was painful. So definitely use this or the or the warning system version. Um, in fact, we do have another sign here look, that we can do. So let's quickly do this one. I don't know how that one's got knocked all the way over there. 
That's tricky to get, actually, that one. It was just slightly out of range, but... Well, we've got 300 metre there, the countdown to the junction, and we may need to take that junction to get that one on the other side. Let's just see what it does. I think it should root us across that bridge and back on the other side. Let's have a look. It does indeed. Pretty easy, does it? Around the bend. See, this is strange now, you see, because I don't think you would do a left turn here, would you? It'd be suicide, wouldn't it, if the uh, car is belting up behind you? But we do need to do this to get back onto the motorway. Seems a bit crazy. Now, we did pass this one some fair way back down this side. Let's just drive back to where we were. Probably I'm speeding, but uh, we'll join the traffic. We're not meant to be a fast vehicle. Just up here on the right hand side. Here we go. So, yeah, if you are playing, you've not had this on today. Uh, today's Thursday. Uh, just uh, jump on and see if you had a patch. I'll try and find out what was in the patch. But um, information has been difficult to get on things like that. So I'll do my best. If you guys notice anything that's improved with the patch, then also let me know in the comments. And then uh, I can also report that back on the next video. Now, I think I will be coming off here, though I can't see yet on the minimap if we are. In fact, we're staying on the main carriageway. Let's go past this guy. Why not? So let's just nip back in and have a look what speed I'm doing. I was actually doing 80, doing 80 kilometers per hour right now. That's 100, and we're catching up with these cars in front. But there is another road sign here, which we'll do, and that will leave us just one to do after that. So let's just pull over. Get the handbrake on. Another one of those hard to reach ones. Can we get it from this side? Well, that's tricky. That is tricky, that one. Let me just reposition. That's frustrating. can't click on the green one obviously the green is where it's gonna realign can I get it on the the pole anywhere is that it oh look at that there's just a very fine very fine target point there to be able to get that one so just watch that one if you're doing this mission 
It obviously does work, but you've got to find that sweet spot. And with having the, the green placement area next to it, it's difficult to see when the, uh, the cursor turns green. Now, am I carrying straight on? I think I am. Uh, no, actually, I'm turning right, so let's turn right. I think this actually, once we've done this, should take us nicely round to the depot. We'll see. There is the depot. So we've done a we've done a complete circle. I think I've done a sort of half circle there, and similar to what I mentioned that I did last night, although in the in the very 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 slow truck. So all that part of the map looked very familiar to me. So we just need to wait for traffic to clear. Then we can be underway again. There he goes. Right, let's just have a quick look. Let's go for it. So in fact, we're going we're going away from the depot again. I just would like to see some of these missions uh, a little bit more logically thought out. Missions like this, where you've to kind of you know fix 10 different things or you know fix the delineators or put new signs up or fix the signs like this one i'd like them to be in a bit more of a logical order bending up backwards and forwards all over the map because we've seen that haven't we on a few of these missions where it seems you seem to be backwards and forwards quite a lot and it doesn't make sense we've already been down here um, There could be there could be some work done just to improve that. As I hit the barriers there. Nevertheless, we plod on. We've got one more to do. And this Volkswagen Golf in front that sounds like a fly. So the sign is on the other side of the road again. You can just see it there, over on the left. So we need to come around again. At the next junction, let's just go past the Volkswagen Golf Fly Edition. Just to find out where our next junction is, not sure actually. There will be one quite soon. Actually going quite fast, I was doing about 150 kilometers per hour, which was interesting. There's no speeding penalties or anything in this game. Your observation of the road signs is purely down to uh, your own conscience. Unlike on the road, where you'll get a speeding ticket if you uh, get caught in one of the cameras. So I think what's going to happen here is it's going to do one of those again where we've got to come back on ourselves, which is a bit strange. Well, let's see. Yeah, so we've got to take one of these dangerous left turns again, as we did earlier. 
So you see what I mean? It's 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 repeating itself a little bit, and they should be more logically thought out. And then we don't have to do this. And then I assume when we pick this one up, we've got a, a pretty decent drive to get back to the depot. So we'll take some liberties with this speed just so that we can get round. Let's just hope the boss doesn't catch us doing this. He wants the job done, but he wants it done safely. We are replacing safety signs after all. I think it's coming up just here. There it is. And you just see it ahead. So we'll pull over. Out of everybody's way. There we go. So that's all the signs done now. That's all ten. So we may be able to come off here at this next junction actually. Uh, and if we can, then we're good. Let's quickly flick to this outside view. This is our exit. I think this is going to take us up to that main crossroads again, which is right next to the depot. Let's see. Looks familiar, yet um, there are a couple of places that look similar on opposite sides of the map. All we have to do is park this back up again once we get back to the depot, and that's us done. So this mission's taken us slightly longer than uh, one of the usual ones. Um, but as I say, if, if there had been a more logical order, it wouldn't have taken us that long. We'd have done a lot less driving. Uh, but it's fine. I mean, it is what it is. Um, I don't mind doing the driving. In this vehicle, that is. If we'd have taken the steamroller, we might have been in trouble. Certainly. There's a bit of a queue going on, as it's starting to move. Let's just have a look left and right. I think we're good, we'll get out in front of this fly. Fly VW. And then we'll get parked up for the night. That'll be us done. We can go and read the, read the paper. Have a cup of tea. Gates are still open for us. There we go. So I think today we'll reverse him. Was it the first garage? Let's take a look. I think it was, yep. Yeah. So there's another good job done today. And another trophy. So there we go. There's another one in the series. Hope you enjoyed it. And I uh, hope you're enjoying the playlist. As I said, we'll try to cover each type of job at least once in the playlist. Uh, and then if you're considering picking this up, then you, you know what to expect. Um, yeah. 
so hope you enjoyed it and uh, please do leave me a like and uh, drop me a subscribe if you haven't done so already i really appreciate it and i will see you on the next one all the best take care bye for now